What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and today I'm showing you guys a bit of a guide on how to kill Jad in old school RuneScape. So this isn't a guide for the actual fight caves itself and I plan on making a guide soon for that but this guide is just for Jad and the key things that you need to know. Basically, I found a way that'll help you a million times over with killing Jad and I'm gonna go through that in this video. Enjoy. So the thing that I found is the absolute best way to prepare for Jad is to use the Jad simulator, which is on the Rune Apps website. So basically what this website does is it simulates the RS3 version of Jad or maybe RS2. I'm not 100% sure what, which one it is, but it's the it's not the old school looking Jad. But the thing is, it has the same animations and attack styles as the old school Jad. So it's still really, really helpful. I need to quickly add, there's an old school simulator, but it's actually a virus that keylogs your computer. So if you type in old school JAD simulator, do not do any of them. I've looked everywhere. This is the only one that really works and you don't even have to download anything. It's just online. So when you get to the website that I'll put in the description, you click start and then it'll come up with a set of options. You can decide your inventory setup. So normal has a few less potions and empty has even less. I just do it on packed because why not? And then up here, it has a choice for curses or prayers. I do prayers since it's a little bit more like the old school runescape setup in the prayer tab, as you can see. So that's protect range, that's protect mage here. And then you can choose whether you want to range mage or melee jad so if you're meleeing this is actually really really good practice for the press which is with melee but since most people range it i'm going to show you the ranging one and keep the 40 milliseconds the same that is for the prayer switch time so when you're ready you click start fight and jad will start attacking you basically you can prayer switch effectively and learn your prayer switches so whoever made this simulator well done to them this really does help with jad switches and it's a non-risky way to do it anyway i have a few more tips for you guys so in order to actually have a chance at getting and killing Jad, you'll need at least level 65 ranged and 40 prayer for the protect from range prayer. With these stats, Jad is easily doable as long as you get your prayer switches 100% correct. Even during the actual fight caves part, you'll actually need to get your prayer switches down as well. Otherwise, you're going to end up at Jad with no restores or Sarah Brews left. So before you actually start Jad, you need to have at least two sips of restore minimum left and maybe a bit of food since you will be taking some damage from the healers. So once Jad is about to come up, you need to turn on your highest range boosting prayer and protect from range as his range attack is usually the strongest one. So as Jad spawning, you should stand on the eastern side of the italy shaped rock which the safe spot is on and then you should be able to see any region where jad will spawn as you can see in the video i recorded i couldn't see him because i was looking the wrong way stupidly and he managed to hit me for a 90 but in that situation all you need to do is keep focusing on those prayer switches and in between your switches eat as much sour bruise as you can and restore back up until you're above 90 hit points. So Jad has two attacks, which you'll see in the simulator. The first is the magic attack, which he slowly leans back and then he fires a magic fire blast kind of thing at you. And then the second one is a ranged attack, which he gets up really quick and then smacks the ground really fast. So these attacks also have sounds, which I highly recommend listening to while you're killing Jad. The first one is the, the stomp for the range attack and that sounds like this. And then he also has the magic attack, which it sounds a bit like a fire blast kind of being built up and that sounds like this. The best advice I can give you is to stay as calm as you possibly can. Panicking on Jad is gonna be the worst thing for you because by panicking, you can click the wrong prayer and then change it really quickly, something like that, and it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna get hit with no protection. So the thing to remember is you need to be as patient as you can with the prayer switches as you have about one second in between his animation to turn on your prayer and then wait until he hits you. So 
the best thing to do is wait till you're 100% sure with the prayer switch and then change the prayer and you should be okay considering you have a good internet connection. If you have a bad internet connection, the best thing to do is not do JAD until you have a good one because there's no way you're gonna be able to survive JAD if your prayer switches are a bit laggy. When the healers come out, what you have to do is change your prayer switch and then attack the healers to get their attention. So do not attack the healers and completely forget about Jad because you're going to die straight up. The second you've confirmed that the prayer switch is correct, you need to turn on that prayer and then instantly attack one of the healers and then attack Jad again and wait for the next prayer switch. So it takes approximately four prayer switches until you have all the healers onto you. And then once they're all following you, you can go back to killing Jad and pay attention to your health though, because the healers can pile on you with their melee attacks. If you have full void and above level 90 ranged, you can actually just outdo the healers if you have a blowpipe or a twisted bow if you're that rich. But with a rune crossbow, you're probably never going to be able to outdo the healers due to its slow attack rate. But I always recommend attacking the healers because they do really slow down the Jad kill time and that is going to leave more room for error in terms of prayer switching. So anyway guys, remember that Jad simulator, it's going to help you a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something and yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more daily old school content. Thanks for watching.